Hey, what's up, guys? It's Matt here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Coex PLA for 3D printers. So these guys, Coex, actually uh, worked with Gamer Green to make uh, custom colors, guys. It's really cool. So this is the Gamer Green Green right here, guys. I believe the name is Charus or Charrette or Char or something. I forget the actual name of this, this green, but it's something like that. So this is just a sample print right here of the color, but I'm going to be showing you guys it's in action and uh, they also so they sent the green that one's in my printer now and then they also sent this uh, it's like a another blue like gamer green uses this for like the background and they were able to custom make this as well so it's like a navy dark blue really nice blue by the way so I'm gonna be giving my review on uh, this PLA now this was sent to me uh, for free the PLA but this is not sponsored I'm not being paid or anything to do this I'm just giving my honest opinion I um, I'm not the best 3D printer. I know there's other 3D printer channels out there that are like amazeballs. I'm still, you know, I've had my 3D printer for about a year, but I'm still, it takes a lot of like experimenting and getting it dialed in, but, and uh, and that's what it took with this PLA because it is a little different. So I was having problems, like, because I print on a glass bed, a modified glass bed. Um, so I was having problems with it lifting a little bit, as you could see right there. But then I uh, I emailed them and they said that you have to actually have to use this at around like 230 degrees uh, nozzle temp, which is like really high. And I was like, wow, that's pretty high. So I bumped it up and made a few other little adjustments and shebang, it stuck perfectly. So um, and so for the uh, I'm going to be printing to show you guys a few of the things that print. Uh, so one of them is going to be a small little gamer green G. Look at that right there. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a, how I made a, an official, well not official, I made a little Gamer Green keychain guys that is 3D printed, look at that, so that's a custom keychain right there that I 3D printed. So my printer is the uh, Kitty Tech X12, this was on Amazon, it was like a $400 printer back when I bought it, I love it, and um, so what I did was I modified the bed. And I uh, stuck glass. This is this glass here is just from the dollar store. It's from one of those square photo frame thingies. And all I used was double-sided tape to stick it to there, the regular platform that came with it. And I print right on glass. It prints phenomenally. So if it allows for a nice smooth finish, it does stick real well. Now for certain things, I have to use I use the blue tape. And let me tell you this. Coex PLA sticks phenomenal on this blue. You don't even really need the glue stick. Like I haven't glued, I glued it up once. I printed about 10 things in the same spot here. Haven't even needed the glue since and it still is like ridiculously hard to lift off. Like you gotta pry it off with this freaking thing. But that's a good thing. So your print's not moving in anything. So this roller coaster track I do have to print with the uh, tape. It's just, I can't, I, I think it's the way I designed it in, uh, in the 3D thing. I didn't make the raft big enough or whatever. There's certain settings that I just probably, because this was like when I first got this printer and I, I deleted the original track file and this is all that I have that's on here. So, but it's, it sticks phenomenally on the uh, tape there. So as you can see, it's making the raft right now, which the track is going to sit on. And it just helps it stay because I print the track face down, the roller coaster track, so the the rails are actually face down, and then the spine of the track is is what's on top. So I'm gonna do like a quick little speed up here, and I'm gonna show you guys the process of this roller coaster track with the Coex Gamer Green Green PLA. So as you can see now, it's printing the rails of the track. Right now the whole uh, the raft is complete so now it's printing the rails and then it's going to be printing the little connectors that uh, connect the rails to the spine of the track. So I'll show you guys about, when it's about halfway done, I'll show you guys another little uh, update. So now you guys can see that it printed the rails, the rails are done, now it's printing the cross ties. The cross ties connect the rails to the main spine of the track. And uh, so that's what it's printing now there. You can see. I love the look of that green. That's amazing on these little keychains. All right, guys. So as you can see now, it's printing the final part of the uh, roller coaster track, the spine part. So it's just it's connecting kind of the spine kind of holds everything together. It's kind of like a a bone in your body. 
Um, so yeah, it's printing that, as you can see. It's kind of just, it's got about maybe another 10 minutes or so, 10 or 15 minutes. You can see the cross ties there, the little triangle parts. Those connect from the spine to the rails, and that's what holds the rails. So I'll show you guys a uh, finished product once it's done printing. All right, guys, so as you can see, it is finished printing. I want you guys to look and see how smooth. And again, this is on point two resolution, which is lower resolution printing. And still, look how amazing this came out. Look how smooth this is. The edges are, I mean, this is just insane. So just kind of lift it up by the edge here. I did let it cool for a little bit, but it's still, it's tough. Look at that. Ugh. See that? Isn't that crazy? How well that sticks? And this is, I didn't even put glue on or nothing. That's about my 10th print on this same piece of tape. So I'm going to peel this uh, off of here, off of the little raft. So there's the raft there. Look how well that prints, guys. That's amazing. So I'm going to peel this off and show you guys what the uh, track looks like. All right, guys. So here's the finished piece of the roller coaster track using the uh, special Gamer Green Color PLA by Coex. Check that out. Look at that finish, how nice it is. And again, like I said, this is printed at 0.2 millimeter resolution. It's lower resolution, so this isn't, isn't even the highest resolution. So now for the Gamer Green keychain, obviously since it's two colors, uh, what I did was is printed it separately. So I printed the little base, the background part, there's a circle there. Uh, and this, as you can see, that's what the blue looks like. Very, look at that, it's such a nice finish. And uh, just really impressed with that, how it, it turned out. That's the front of it. Now that, if you turn around, this I actually printed on glass here, as you can see, it is very, very smooth. Like it's that's that when you print on glass, that's what you get. So the I mean the quality of this and this is printed on 0.2 millimeter, which is actually a lower resolution. Now for this, maybe some of you guys can give me some insight on this. When I print something like real tiny like this, like as you can see the thickness, there's like holes in it. Perhaps that's because I'm printing on a lower resolution. I printed this at 0.2 millimeter as well, which is a lower resolution. So I'm not sure really what causes that. This isn't the PLA's fault. I've had this issue with other PLA's too. Again, it's more than likely stupidity over here. User error, you know, because I'm a printing noob. But yeah, let me know if any of you guys have insight on that. Uh, that would be great. So yeah, see how like part of the G there is like see-through? This whole thing should be like one solid piece, but it's like it didn't print it. It printed it weird. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm thinking that's because of the resolution part, but if you guys have any insight, please let me know in the comments. That would be amazeballs. It's actually nice and easy. If you get one of these super glues that has the controllable thing, it's like perfect. I should be using tweezers for this. Time for it to get stuck on my hands. Oh my god, almost stuck to my... Oh, I'm getting sticky. Getting sticky. Whoa! You get the idea. That's how I made the G. Now once that dries, which shouldn't take too long, uh, we'll be able to just put the keychain on. Now this this hole up here, I actually printed it. This is part of the design, so it actually prints this with the hole already in it. So I don't have to like drill it or nothing. That's so cool that you can do that with 3D printers. You can make awesome keychains and already have it make the hole for you. And you just loop the keychain through. You have a Gamer Green G custom made 3D printed keychain using Coex PLA. Like look at that, that that's amazing. And this is all printed at 0.2 millimeters. Like this isn't even a, a higher resolution. This is a lower resolution. So, and look how good the quality is. That's amazing. All right guys, that's gonna do it for my review of the Coex PLA uh, for 3D printers. If you guys wanna try out some of this PLA, I have a very special promo code. It's in the description of this video. Uh, you'll be able to get it at an awesome uh, discount price if you want to try it out. Uh, this promotion is not anywhere else. This is exclusive for this video and it's only a limited time. So uh, give it a try. I mean, honestly, I love it. I'm, I would definitely buy more of this. Make sure you're printing this though at the higher temperatures or you might have the peeling issue like I did. And make sure your bed is around 60 degrees if you have a heated bed. So, But if you have the tape, it should stick no problem to that. As you can see, that freaking thing was like insane to try to peel that roller coaster track off of there. So remember, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a little thumb up a roo. 
And uh, leave me a bunch of nice comments down below because I do read them and I will heart the cool ones. This is my second channel for everything and anything else, so drop a sub if you're new. And like we always say, thanks for watching.